Today's video is brought to you by AppMatch. I've talked about AppMatch on my videos before, and they're a service that asks you questions and recommends the perfect apps based on whatever answers you give them. So they've got a new Tech Life quiz that I wanted to tell you about because I think you actually find it useful and like it. It's geared toward the tech crowd and basically meant to help you find tech related apps that you haven't tried before, but hopefully will find useful. The link is below in the description. And if you'd like to try it, it's free. Tell me what you think about app match in the comments. And if you think it's a useful service, hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolo tech. And today Apple released iOS 11.2.5 developer beta five and public beta five. This is available and it came in at about 153.1 megabytes. Let's take a look at the build number. The build is 15 D five zero five seven a, and this particular build, uh, basically doesn't give us anything. Apple has really said nothing about this update. They haven't shown anything new and based on their re release cycle and that build number, uh, we'll probably see a gold master either this coming week or the final release this coming week. I would expect the final, maybe a gold master this weekend, maybe tomorrow, maybe Monday, and then the release Tuesday or Friday. It's hard to say exactly, but I think we'll see the final release on that. Now, one thing that happened earlier today that I missed out on, unfortunately, is with the iPhone previous versions. So maybe you have a four, four S five, they allowed you to downgrade for just a moment to previous versions. So if you have an older device for a little while, you could go to IPSW.me and then maybe select the phone you wanted and you could downgrade some of them all the way back to iOS nine, actually all the way back to iOS six, depending on the device that's since gone away, unfortunately, but there are some devices that you can get back to iPhone seven or iOS seven on like the iPhone four S uh, or nine rather and six. So if you have a five S, so let me go here, uh, five S GSM, they're still signing iOS 11.2, 11.2.1, but on some of them, iPhone fives, 10.3.3. So it just depends on which version you have. Uh, they unlocked it for a lot of different versions, but then all of a sudden it was closed. So if you had an iPhone five S, you could go back to iOS seven. So it was, it was available iOS seven and eight. And I don't have uh, any of those devices on those versions other than this particular device on iPhone or iOS six. So unfortunately I missed out on that, but that was the exciting news today. And then it went away. I don't know why Apple won't open that up and allow us to downgrade our devices, but maybe one day that'll happen. Now I did do a geek bench on this and it came in at what we expect basically the same results as we've had before. So if I go to history, go to CPU and today we had 4,231, 10,470. And right here you can see we're very similar results. We're basically the same and what they've locked down with this particular update. It's hard to say, but just wanted to give you an update and keep you informed. And hopefully we'll see a final version with maybe where they'll add some battery updates. I'm guessing that's going to be iOS 11.3, where we'll see those updates with the batteries, uh, what they're going to show as far as more information there. And then iMessage in the cloud is not here either. Maybe we'll see that with 10.3, or maybe they've gotten rid of it altogether or delayed it to iOS 12 in June. But let me know what you think in the comments below. If you'd like to get your hands on this wallpaper, I'll leave it in the description below. Thanks to Ashley Sur Surly for sending this along. If hopefully I pronounce that properly. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.